Okay, so this look is basically divided into two parts. The first part is a dramatic, over-the-top editorial look, and then I take it the next level and do my creative masterpiece. So in order to show you all the steps, this will probably be divided into at least two videos, possibly three, and then there'll be the actual fourth video that is the Pixie Woo entry, which will explain the inspiration and where my ideas came from. As you can see, I already started the look, and I'm going to zoom in for you really quick and show you that I went ahead and darkened my brows a lot more dark than for a daytime look. In order to do that, I just took an angled brush and then I dabbed it against a cream pencil. This is Hips Black Shock, uh, L'Oreal's HIP or Hip Pencil in Black Shock. And I just dabbed the tip and then filled in. And then I actually took um, carbon, actually, no, I used my hot contrast duo, I used the black from this duo in order to set the brows. You could use anything. You could use your hip truth liner or you could use black track fluid liner. You could use a pencil straight onto your brow, whatever you're most comfortable with. The trick is just to darken the brow, make it really dramatic and uh, over the top. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and lay down a foundation for my eye colors and tonight I'm just going to go ahead and use Milk, Jumbo jumbo Pencil and Milk NYX. And I'm just going to lay down a little bit of that and then spread it out with my finger. Okay, so now you see I have that white all the way over, all over my lid and all the way up, up under my brow. Next thing I'm going to do is work with silver, and I really like these hip pencils, so I'm going to use this silver, and this is uh, Silver Lightning. And again, I'm just going to dab it onto the lid. And then you could use a brush, but I'm just going to use my pinky finger and kind of spread it all over. And this is really shiny, really bright. I love it. And the nice thing about these pencils is once you get it on, it's nice and creamy and easy to work with to spread it, but then it sets and it stays. It does not budge. Okay, so you can see I have that silver all over my lids now, and I'm just dabbing a little bit down into that inner corner of the tear duct to really make them pop open so you can see that now. Alright, next thing I'm going to do is start working on my lid color and I confess I broke down and I bought some shadow from uh, the Style Black release Cinderfella, black and silver, it's awesome and I am actually going to use this down close to my lash line and then bring it up um, towards the crease I'm going to smoke it out and then kind of on it. Okay, so you can see I got one side kind of done where I went up into the crease and worked that in and brought it out in angle. So now I'm working on the other side. Okay, so the real trick is blending, blending, blending. I've spent a lot of time blending. Now I'm taking a clean brush and just working out the amount of shadow that I put down on my eye. You can see I extended a little bit down below. This one seems a little bit more dramatic, a little bit more filled in, so I have to work a little bit more. <laughs> blend, blend, blend. So smaller Sonia Kushak brush, and you'll see I've already dipped it into some more of the Cinderfella. So go ahead and spray that. Mm. Okay, and I'm going to bring this down below my lash line. Lower lash line. So you can see I've brought it all the way in to meet where that silver is on my inner tear duct area and all along the lower lash line and then I'm connecting it with this wing that I've created on the outside. And I'm going to go back in again and blend okay, some What more. I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back in and brighten up the areas where I have silver on my lid. And what I'm going to do is take a flat, small flat eyeshadow brush and this is Max Silver Fog Loose Pigment. I'm just going to grab a little bit of that onto my cap here and then a little bit on the brush, tap off extra, and then I'm just going to lay this down over the silver. You can see it's really brightening up that inner tear duct area. And then inner eye and then up right to the brow. Okay, what I'm going to do next is lay a really dark shadow down really close to my lash line. In order to do that I'm going to use my Sonia Kushak pencil brush. 
tiny tip and then I'm going to use the black from my hot contrast duo just going to dab in this and then taking my fix plus which I'm going to spray off camera I'm going to wet that a little bit and instead of using liquid or a pencil to line I'm just going to lay down this eyeshadow that's a little damp by wetting it it makes it a little bit more intense but also it keeps it from falling out all over the face so you can see I'm just laying this down there. Okay, so crease brush. And I'm going to blend that black that I just laid down, that matte mineralized black. Just blend it up into the cinder fella. And the okay. So a lot of this is layering. I'm trying to build up so that it's a little bit more dramatic. I'm going to go back in with a silver hip pencil, which I love, 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 and I'm going to lay a little bit more down into that inner third of the eye over the silver fog. Just a little bit more dramatic, a little bit brighter. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm finishing up a detail where I've gone back in with my silver hip pencil, silver lightning, and then I'm taking my tiny pencil brush, the Sonia Kushak, and creating a silver wing detail. And I did that on both sides. Okay, let's zoom back out a little bit here. Okay, so this would actually be complete now. I would actually go back in and line my waterline, curl my eyelashes and put on my mascara, and then even throw on a pair of false eyelashes to make them really, my eyes really big and really pop out. And I could actually get dressed in my clubbing clothes, finish up with a neutral cheek, neutral lip, and head out the door and go boogie the night away. I think I could totally get away with wearing this to a nightclub. It's a lot of fun. It's big in the dark and in the lights. It would really sparkle and flash. But I am not done. I'm actually going to go ahead and do the second part, which, which will be my creative masterpiece, where I actually paint a design on my face based on an Airte lithograph that I'm in love with, and I'll show you. Um, so instead, I will go ahead and paint my face. That's going to take a little bit of time. And then when I'm done actually painting the design and putting on the glitter and all of the stuff to create the look, I'll go back in, line my waterline, curl my eyelashes, go ahead and put on my false lashes and then put on mascara to help those stick together and stay together and then the look would actually be complete. So bear with me, be patient, and let's move on to part two. See you soon!